Kari Yang Lloyd from Thistlewood Farms here and I am so excited to show you a really fun DIY solution that we came up with for these iron columns. So they currently hold up our carport. They're fine, but they have definitely seen better days and it was so expensive to replace them. So we came up with an economical solution to make these columns look like new. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step on exactly how we did it and, and then I'm going to show you how we painted these and transformed them with our Wagner paint sprayer. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. Here's where we started with a the project. There are four iron columns that hold up the carport. Each of the columns measures 21 inches wide by one inch deep by approximately eight feet tall. Our goal for the project was to cover these iron columns with wood to make them look built in. Step one. We created treated plywood sides for each of the iron columns. These pieces measure 24 inches wide by approximately 8 feet tall. Then a one by one was glued to each side of each plywood piece. Here are the plywood pieces lined up against the iron columns to give you an idea of the size. Make sure to use treated plywood for this kind of project because it's an exterior DIY. Step two, we provided a base for the top and the bottom to give something to attach the plywood boards to on the column. Step three, next we attach the plywood boards to the iron columns as shown. Step four, to finish the base of the columns, we added a one inch by five inch board to each side of the wood columns. Here's a little tour of what the space looked like at this step. Now it was time to make the columns look pretty. This is my favorite part of the project. We attached a one inch by four inch board to the top of each column and a one inch by six inch board to the bottom. Next, we added quarter round molding to the bottom. A piece of picture frame molding approximately 16 inches from the top, primed the piece, caulked everything, filled the holes with wood filler, then it was time to paint. And now it was time to paint. For this project, I used the Flexio 5000 paint sprayer by Wagner. It is so easy to use. Simply remove the base, fill with paint. For this project, we used white exterior paint. Then reattach the base, plug it in, turn it on, pull the trigger, and paint. That's all you have to do. Just a couple of quick tips. Make sure to continuously move the sprayer for an even coverage. Also too, you wanna to make sure that you don't get too close to your project when painting. with our column project today. I love the way that they turned out. Such an affordable option and an easy DIY for your home. A giant thank you to Wagner for sponsoring this post today and for producing such incredible products like this incredible paint sprayer. As always, if you like this video, be sure and subscribe. If you have any questions at all, ask them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you again for following along and remember, have a day as amazing as you are.